What's up, man? Back with another video. You know what I mean? Back with the little series when dumb criminals try to outsmart cops. And yeah, let's get straight to it, man. People thinking they can lie and get away with it doesn't end here. What happened? Hey, what happened? What's that? What happened? I'm gonna take you back to the car you fled from. I didn't flee from oh shit! This he is 25 year old Malik, who on August 28, 2022, turned into a neighborhood without reducing his speed. But when a police officer attempted to pull him over, he refused to stop and continued driving at an. He's driving dirty, but yet he drives recklessly, bro. I don't get it. You know what I mean? If you know, you got shit you're not supposed to have in the car, bro. Follow all the damn rules on the street like on the road type shit you know what i mean if it's 40 go 39 if it's a yellow light stop on red if it's a red light when you turn right once you turn grab your right lane not the middle lane or the left lane type shit because it matters bro it'd be little shit like that that gets you pulled over alarming speed it's a black male he just he just 10 50. 10 50 so he fleeing he just 1050, he dipping, he out of there, he leaving, he fled. He 1050 with another vehicle. Yeah, I'm in the 1131 oh, block. He crashed. No, I was wrong. He 1050, he crashed. Lexington. Sheesh. I would be pissed, block. bro. If that shit happened to my pops before, you know what I'm talking about? Vehicle parked outside the rest of this type shit, chilling, minding his own business. It's some reckless ass fool outside doing some stupid ass shit. Here's my pop's truck, bro. Not even lying. Woke up the next morning, my dad to go to work. Truck was crashed, bro. Like, what the hell? You damn Dallas hoodlums, you know what I mean? But damn, I'd be mad, bro. I feel bad for the owner of the house. He probably just chilling out in his own business and his truck just got totaled. Sheesh. Another vehicle. Uh, I'm in the 1131 block. Lexington and Tyler. He, he's on foot. Black he's male. On foot now. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. Where is he? Or listen to his fucking music. That shit lame. I ain't gonna lie. The cannabis bro. industry is exploding nationwide, and that's why I created the Master Mentors Make Live Educational Platform. A A K A nine seven one two, and I have not located the that guy. car is totaled. And that she got, it's a wrap for that car, bro. Engine problems and shit. That whole smoking, you know what I mean? That whole's done for. Okay, is anybody yeah. hurt? No. Thank God, that three little kids. We're gonna go get the kids. Okay. This is the mom. Okay. Yeah. Nobody hurt. No, no. we're inside. Okay. Okay. Was this a park car? Yeah. Okay. Do we know where the guy went? That's what I'm trying to find. He went there. He had a red shirt on. Okay. Black male. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's out here reduced due to copyright. Sheesh. On Lexington between Tyler and Grant, black male, red shirt. Damn. He did behind where? Yeah, went that way. Okay. As anyone would expect, Malik eventually crashed into another vehicle parked in front of a family home. But before the officer could get to the scene of the accident, the young man had taken to his heels. Later on, another officer on patrol located Malik walking casually a few blocks away from the scene of the accident and immediately Damn. put him in cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do try that casual shit. Come on, man. I think he's going to be in front of the liquor mart right now. It does appear walking all casually. Walking all casually and shit, try to blend in in public. Come on. He gonna say some bullshit like that's not me. I got the wrong person. Uh, even if that's the case, you was jaywalking. You know what I'm saying? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Sheesh. Oh, Malik. Crashed the damn boat. Malik, you're under arrest. Fleeing an officer. And warrants. Damn, man, he had warrants. I don't, I don't know why he, he didn't flee, bro. Why, why was he trying to walk out casually? If you got warrants, bro, you better run till you hit the next county. Shit. Grab a 
crap. That's man. what you fled from officers like last been... week for, isn't it? The warrants? What? I haven't even been in town. Just keep playing stupid, whatever. I, I don't care. I haven't been in town, bro. I just got out of jail a couple days ago. Okay. Maybe you got picked up on the warrants. I'm going to cross the road, yeah. 133 headquarters, tattoo Malik's in custody. Yeah, he doesn't know anything about it. I wasn't here, I just got to town like two days ago. Oh, really? Damn, so this was a couple days later. It was on the same day. They did say he was wearing a red shirt. I'm gonna take you back to the car you fled from. Car. After putting him into the police cruiser, Malik was then taken back to the scene of the crash. But what's shocking is that even though he had just damaged a vehicle and could have hurt people, Malik decided to play dumb and deny knowing anything about the accident. It should be this shocking, bro. He ain't trying to go to jail. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened here? What happened here, head ass? Hey, fellas, to get an idea? We pulled up and he goes, damn, what happened here? <laughs> he left his stuff in the car. He's, there's a phone, his quest cards. He's up in the side, but... Oh, yeah. You're lucky you didn't get yourself killed. What are you talking about? Nah, that's, you he's not lying, bro. So, so, is that showing red and blue? And on top of it, I got your, card, your cards in the car. Hey, you, like I said, Malik. You, hey, that doesn't that doesn't mean I was driving. Hey, you, like I said, Malik. Hey, that doesn't you, doesn't you mean I was playing driving. Dude, I saw you. This, this I saw, saw you. you. I tried to pull you over when you were doing probably 50 down uh, coming to the roundabout. 50 on the yeah, roundabout I, I, in a suburb. A suburban is pretty wild, bro. 50 on the round on the suburban. That's pretty crazy. Is this a stolen car or not? It could be. Yeah, it's outrageous. I ain't gonna lie, bro. No, gonna tell could have flipped over real shit. All this while, Malik denies any involvement in the accident, despite his belongings being found in the vehicle. But when he heard the officers suspected the car to be stolen, he soon began to confess, ultimately Damn. exposing himself. So I heard you guys wanted it stolen? I'm not gonna talk to you about that right now, being that you're in custody. Um, but if you'd if you'd like to talk to us, well, you know, go ahead. If you'd like to talk to us, I can certainly we can certainly get your rights read to you before we discuss well, the case. Yeah, it's not what do you mean we could get your rights read to you before we discuss the case? He's supposed to read his rights once you put him in handcuffs, bro. Once you take him to jail, that's when he's supposed to read his rights. The fuck you mean? I'll read your rights once we discuss the case. Am I wrong here? I don't know. Maybe somebody tell me. The comments, I, I don't feel like I'm wrong right now. Ain't you supposed to read him his rights? We put the handcuffs on him with the intention of taking him to jail type shit. My friend had a dad. Of course. His dad's out of town, so I haven't said I could drive him. However, even during transport to the station, Malik still refused to take responsibility for his actions. Bro, just ask for... Um, well, I was just attorney, saying, like, I, I wasn't point, running bro, from him. I was running across the highway. I ain't gonna lie. He probably got a lawyer. I didn't want to get hit by a car. So, yeah. So, as soon as he told me to stop, I just stopped. Yeah. He says it was, I stopped. But that's what he said? He said I ran from him? No, no. So here we are in the beautiful world of Sense Arena. So when you load into the game, you get... Oh. Uh, the fleet comes from the vehicle. Oh, I mean, I'm sure, I, like, I know you're not dumb either, like, there's a lot of other factors here at play. Let that view come stuff. Are you guys going with first degree? No, second. Okay. <laughs> They're like, both still felonies. They're both bad. Yeah. But I don't think you're, you know, showing utter disregard. But the, the DA's office might say different to drive 100, you know, how, however fast you were driving down a neighborhood street on a Sunday morning when kids kids could be out playing might be first degree. You know what I mean? I'm not I I ain't trying to like but it's twenty twenty four bro like come on man kids ain't outside playing no more. They inside on their tablets, on their Nintendo switches. They sure as hell we play with toys no more. They on Netflix, you know what I'm saying? On uh, playing Fortnite. Kids ain't outside no more bro. Let's let's keep it a hundred. 
not a lawyer, so I'm not going to argue that. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I, I never said I was driving either, so. Just keep going to jail. I just got charges dismissed. Yeah, because. I see no wise decisions right there, bro. He was eventually charged with second degree reckless endangerment, felony fleeing, bail jumping, a probation hold. What the fuck and is bail jumping? Numerous citations. However, Malik is not the only one who has had multiple brushes with. Alright, that's gonna be the end of this video, though, man. I appreciate y'all watching this, man. Y'all keep doing y'all staying. GTJ, grind that journey, man. Peace.